microfinance, the word is a bit、uh, unique in terms of financing. There are institution, financial institution that are created to lend to people with little collateral or poor collateral. These are not necessarily bad borrowers.、Uh, these are people who have difficulty to access your formal financial institutions, such as banks, finance company. You are members of group. You contribute to the fund. So one group borrows, one person borrow. Ultimately, at the end of the day, that person to pay back the loan at a probably very comfortable interest rate. The idea is that if you don't pay back. In the long run, you are no more in the group, and you cannot have access to financing anymore. The beauty of this microfinancing group lending is that the group monitor each other in terms of repayment, in terms of where the money go to, how you spend, and so on. So this become a very effective tool in poverty alleviation in in a lot of rural, underdeveloped country.、Uh, I do a lot of studies in China, Vietnam. Philippines, Indonesia, it has shown successfully help farmers move one step of their life and improve their living standard. One of my PhD students just finished the studies in microfinancing in the Mekong Delta on、uh, on the on the southern part of、uh, Vietnam, looking at how farmers under this program has been successfully improved their farm output, farm income, living standard. So that's what I've been looking at recently when I went to Vietnam to see some of these small retailers that prefer to borrow from microfinancing because it has a less stringent requirement compared to commercial bank, which has a lot more strict requirement there, and potentially sometimes it hamper their ability to generate better income. Whereas microfinancing has more flexibility, and also have sort of a safety net issue, where. Under commercial bank, normal one, you don't pay. They come. They can potentially take over your property. Under microfinancing, that if you run into, into trouble, the leader can come and reworks with you how to repay a loan over grace period. We call it. So that's the beauty of it.